Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Dora, so I'm here to share with you about my stock account and today's market update. Today, my stock account has closed with a loss of forty-three dollars. Right now, the net asset on my account is seventy thousand and two hundred and fifteen point four one. Today, <coughs> Apple has closed lower zero point five four percent. SQQ closed up one point three six, and SPY closed down zero point two nine. United Natural Gas closed down zero point one point three six percent. Excuse me. Today, Dow Jones Industrial Average closed slightly lower. Nasdaq closed down zero point five six, and S and P five hundred closed down zero point two eight. Today, it's an industry generally closed with a slight loss, and.、Uh, Uh, internet retail and、uh, software infrastructure and the financial industry slid with a loss. And let's talk about let's talk about Apple today. It's a stock that I've been invested for the past few months, but、um, not really mentioned. And、uh, so the reason that I.、Uh, So short, I shorted Apple because of my expectation for its revenue growth that the it's going to be affected by the overall economic downturn, not only globally as a microeconomic trend, but also within the industry. And、uh, today we're going to talk about how it's longer. How it was the worst in the big tech stocks in 2023, and the longest revenue decline. In 2023, Apple stock, while rising, is dwarfed by the other big tech peers. That was mainly because Apple's revenue fell fell for four straight quarters, the longest decline since the dot com bubble burst since 2001. Some of Apple's troubles this year have been due to a poor economic environment for its phones and computers. This summer, total smartphone sales were the lowest in more than a decade. But Apple also faces some problem on its own. It did not release a new iPad for the first time in a, in a in one single year ever since iPad was launched in ten two thousand ten. So without new models, Apple wouldn't cut prices on old products to boost sales. Earlier this month, all of the iPad models sold out, sold on Apple's official website, were shipped on the same day. Morgan Stanley said, "That's a sign of weak demand, as Apple does not have enough supply for the hottest product to ship at such a short time." Let's look at its revenue for the third quarter. Um, ending at the end of September, Apple's iPad revenue was to twenty-eight point three billion dollars, down three point four percent from a year earlier, according to BOA analyst Ramsey Mohan. iPad sales are even worse by shipments, down fifteen percent from a year earlier, and the Apple Watch is also forced to move. To be removed from Apple Store in the U.S. several days before Christmas because of an intellectual property dispute. The device is returned after an appeal in late December, but Morgan Stanley analysts expect that Apple to lose around 135 million dollar sales in a day during the brief ban. Even Apple's new products, such as the Mac, are reluctant to pay products that are big. The in fiscal 2023, the Mac PC and laptop sales were 10.2 billion dollars, down nearly 27 percent from a year earlier. Bank of America also expects Mac shipments to fall around 11 percent from a year earlier. Overall, in terms of the consumers of Apple, Mac has been relatively less popular compared to.、Um, The laptop Mac is relatively less popular compared to the. <coughs> Sorry, Mac. I mean, the Mac PC is more relatively less popular compared to laptop Mac, and、uh, due to its less, um, 
its lack of mobility and uh, recently Apple has just been releasing newer products that are heavier in terms of the weight which makes people more reluctant to buy products that are heavy even though it is more functional. Apple shares are still up 49% this year, above the Nasdaq's 44% gain. By contrast, NVIDIA has tripled this year, Meta soared nearly 200%, Tesla doubled, Amazon up 83%, Alphabet climbed for 5, 59%, and Microsoft up 57%. As we can tell that it is mostly driven by the microeconomic trend that Apple has been up in a normal year or like just a recessionary year, this would less likely to happen. And to restore the revenue growth and support its three trillion market cap, Apple needs some new products. As well as rapid rebound in global demand for smartphones and laptops. A big test will come early next year, when Apple's first mixed reality headset, Vision Pro, will be available for $3,499. The demand for the Vision Pro may seem a little bit suspicious at this moment because of Vision Pro's price and its intended audience, but Morgan Stanley analyst Eric Woodring said earlier this month, we don't think Vision Pro will succeed in 2024. The potential is long term that when the Vision Pro have less um has products with the lower charge or even later product lines of automobile. This is all I have for today. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next episode.